Today I want to talk about something that uh, every man has to make a decision. It's whether or not you're going to pull out. I've got three kids. <laughs> Clean your life up. I'm kidding. We're pulling that engine out today. <laughs> So this is, uh, th this should be pretty easy. Everything's pretty straightforward. Let me turn the camera around and show you what we're working with here. So uh, in Uncle Mike's Mustang, it's just a standard uh, small block Ford. So the first thing we're gonna do to get this thing ready to pull out is I'm gonna jack it up and drain fluids. I plan on pulling the transmission out with the engine. So I'm gonna drain the, I think it's like four or five quarts of uh, transmission fluid, which is like, I think it's a T5, so it should be type F. And then the five quarts of engine oil and then whatever that radiator is holding, we're going to, um, we're going to drain all the fluids and get ready to pull, uh, pull it out. And while I'm under there, I'll also disconnect the shift linkage. Oh no, T5, shift linkage comes into the car. I'll disconnect speedo cable. I will disconnect transmission mount bolts. I'll disconnect uh, header bolts and uh, there's a bolt-in cross member in the 69 and 70s. They have an engine cross member that uh, is bolted between the bottom of the two shock towers. So we'll do that as well. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll come back through here. And what I wanna do is here, let me flip you back around real quick. I wanna label all this stuff here. So like, oh, uh, look at that, it's loose. <laughs> um, all the stuff that's going to this coil, there's a bunch of different things here. And I'm not rewiring this car, so everything, how it's wired now is how it's going back. So, I, but I wanna label everything. Um, I am gonna clean that up, just because it's bothering me. Um, yeah, there's a lot of wiring here, and it's fine, it's good, it's just a little chaotic. So I'm gonna sort it out and make it look a little bit better. But I really need to label everything so I know where everything is at. So when I put it all back together, it just goes back together seamless. So let's get the car up in the air and we'll start draining fluids. White snow, red sky, reach up for a soul so high. Yeah, we got some of it in the bucket. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, f my life. That was f stupid. <laughs> to my face, to my mouth. Okay, guys, it's a few days later. Work got in the way. That spill <laughs> just kind of... Uh, derailed me for the afternoon. Anyways, that's cleaned up and mostly dried up. Um, I think what we're gonna do now is get back under it, finish draining fluids. We gotta drain the engine oil and the transmission fluid. And then I'm gonna start knocking these uh, header bolts loose down there, if you can see them. I'm gonna knock those loose. And then I'll start, I guess I'll pull the headers and then uh, from the collectors as well. And then I'll start labeling all these wires. I'll pull these spark plug wires out of the way. Fuel lines, uh, throttle cable, things like that. And we'll get this thing punched out of here.
latches are unbolted. Uh, let's see. Can you see that? There they are. They're hanging there. And now I'm going to go up top and do the header bolts, which are kind of a pain in the ass, especially there's a couple of them on the small block Ford that really always give me trouble. But let's knock that out and then we'll start pulling the headers out. I may have to raise the car more to get them out. Uh, the headers come out through the bottom. Okay, I've got all the other side off. The header's still in the car, but this side is always such a pain in the butt. I had to take off the uh, export brace. Or is that the Monte Carlo one? The one that's shaped like a V. <laughs> I had to take that off. And now I'm, I'm in, at that point where you like, you get like a quarter of a turn, and like sometimes you got to turn the the rat or the the wrench over and use the other side because the angle ain't right. You got to get your angles right. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at. And this car, it's even a little bit harder because it has a Borgeson uh, power steering box and it's got these two power steering lines that are right in my way. And if I was smart, which I am not, I would have taken that off, but I need to drain that system. All my drain buckets are being used by other stuff. So I just suffer through it. The thing that sucks about taking header bolts off of aluminum heads is it gets to a point where it's hanging on one and you back it out and there's still like a thread or two, but the whole weight of the header is hanging on it. And sometimes it'll pull that thread out of the head, which you gotta be careful for. So I like to support the header with my other hand if I can. Okay, I may not have the room to do this. Let's see. Let me move my bucket here. Get out of the way, you. Oh yeah. Lots of room. Okay, sweet. Okay guys, we're back uh, next day. I got sidetracked yesterday. It was just too nice a day. We had uh, a tropical depression come through here and it sucked all the uh, humidity out and it was so nice. I just had to get out on the lake and go fishing. Caught my personal best bass. Anyways, regardless of all that stuff, I don't know if you like fishing or not, but I love it. Anyways, um, we're, we're back on Mike's car now. So let me flip this around, show you where we're at. Okay, so I've got the Protronic stuff isolated because it's not going back in. The harness labeled and placed up over there. Uh, I still got to go through some of this stuff and um, label it off the alternator. But anyways, right now we're just going to disconnect. I'm going to get the radiator out of the way, disconnect these fans. And if they look like, oh, okay, they're plugged. I thought maybe they were hardwired, but they're plugged in. Well, I uh, disconnect those and pull that radiator out and I guess battery and start making room on the front end so we can get the engine out. Are we ready to lift this thing out? Wires are disconnected. Let's do it. A ground, a ground is gonna hold us back. A couple grounds, interesting. Okay, okay. No problem, we can fix that. Okay, so these brackets down here are not terrible. I was told that the brackets that hold the radiator in were all cobbled together. Let me show you. It's not really the case. So here, I mean, the welds aren't the prettiest, but they're just spot welded in there. And the radiator sat in the saddle fine. I mean, this car has had a, a front clip done. We talked about that in the initial video. If you haven't seen that, go back and take a look. Most of the sheet metal has been replaced, and that's um, partly what we're looking at here. But this is fine. I mean, it holds a radiator in. It doesn't need to be a high speed. Okay. Okay, guys, here, we're, here we are. I've got um, most of the stuff disconnected. I went ahead and uh, removed the alternator because of the wiring on it. I gotta pull that ground off still. Uh, but that is done, headers are off, fuel lines disconnected. Next thing I gotta do is drain the pump, the power steering pump, and disconnect the power steering lines from the pump. And I'm gonna pull the pump out with the engine. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain the reservoir. I have a little vacuum pump. I'll drain the reservoir and then uh, bust the line. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, and then the transmission uh, mount. And then we'll put it back on the ground, push it out, because I don't have any room, because the Falcon's right here. And uh, I'll yank this thing out. All right, we're gonna bust the uh, transmission crossmember bolts off of here. And uh, I can't get my big ass shoulders under here. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna bust these off and have it ready to go for, let me pull the engine. There we go. And then this one up here, I think, is half. This is what I brought. It's probably 9 sixteenths. What's this side? Okay, everything is disconnected from the bottom. The drive shaft's still in, but it's a slip yoke, so as soon as I start pulling everything out, uh, the drive shafts will just fall out, which I'll I'll let it do that. I'll just it'll just rest on the exhaust there, and everything on the transmission is disconnected. I gotta disconnect the shifter from inside the car, and then uh, really that's it. Connected. Let's pull it out. Thanks so much guys for tuning in. We got this 302 out. That one over there is gonna get ready to go back in. And next few videos are just gonna be that, me prepping that motor and installing it in this car. Oh, and maybe detailing the engine bay. That's a lot of sanding and painting and not like super exciting stuff. So that may just be uh, a lot of uh, uh, miss, missed video on that because it's, I mean, who wants to watch paint dry, right? But anyways, uh, thanks again guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, help me out here with the subscribe thing. I asked for it last video and a lot of you guys did it. It, it bumped up the number, so I really appreciate that. I wanna ask for that again. Please go ahead and hit that, hit that uh, subscribe button. It really helps me out. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. See you soon.